So 15 seconds remain in the first half. Sydney with the ball down by the one point, looking to get in top before the half-time siren. A good timeout call by uh, Owen Wells then, of course. Uh, and you'll see what he's going to do is work that ball around and just look for the one good shot. They're not going to try and rush it up. They're going to try and limit the opportunities West Adelaide have. Looking at the clock as it counts down. I'll take the shot only right near the bell. That's so the Benegut now five seconds to make the shot. Wells must go now. And there it is, fails, but the second opportunity, Dalton doesn't make it, and so uh, four seconds remain. Wells again going to play. Actual fact, some five seconds left because the clock stops so each time the whistle goes. Right there it is. Board in the cloud, just as the bell goes. So Sydney City go to the half time for a one point lead. So the scene set for a great second half. One point lead to the Sydney Supersonics over the West Adelaide Bearcats on the road here at Alexandria. And uh, Kavanaugh land, it's uh, Campbell who gets the tap. For West Adelaide, here comes Ray Wood. On to Roy Loggins. West Adelaide coming into the key. Al Green. Wood, who's been dynamic setting up the dynamic duo. Green and Loggins, and there's one half of it, just missing Al Green. Owen Wells gets the rebound. Here comes McLeod, who's been surprisingly quiet. Let's see what he can do in the second half of the Supersonics. Kavanaugh, the long, tall Texan. Sydney City, in fact, have resorted to his own defence and uh, threw West Adelaide quite a bit in that opening 10 seconds there before getting possession. And of course, Kavanaugh there, you don't see too many seven-footers with the ability to drive to the basket. Interesting to see the free throw situation, as we mentioned earlier. At half-time, West Adelaide had made 13 from 17 for 76%, and Sydney had made 4 for 7, 10 less free throws for 57%. Ronnie Cavanaugh makes his two. And so, a three-point margin to the Supersonics. And that's the biggest one they've enjoyed in the match. Peter Alley, Ray Wood for the Bearcats. Al Green... Loggins being pressed by Flavin, who now takes it away for Sydney. Wells finds Flavin. Uh, rather, it's Claude Williams out there, and here comes Kavanaugh. Gordy McLeod. Flavin. Still in there, 2 1 2 zone. Wells. Williams. Wells. Williams. Just off. But Kavanaugh, the second bite, and that's it. Five points to the Supersonics. The margin, 46 to 41, the score. Cavanaugh now with 12 points to his credit, the high scorer for the Supersonics. Al Green looking a little desperate now. The situation just getting away from the Bearcats slightly. And foul. drawn the foul on uh, Gordy McLeod. So Peter Alley brings it in to Ray Wood. Al Green. Wood again. Wood pressing and it's a fair way away. Flavin for Sydney. Williams out to McLeod. Fairly quick break for the Sydney Supersonics. Where's Will o Wells and the big O looks for someone. Underneath is Flavin and there's the basket. Charge and foul. Yes, the basket is good there. Tom Flavin looking a little shell shocked, but uh, he made a good basket at the same time. He certainly did crash into the uh, good defensive position created there. So uh, a little goes both ways there. Two points to Sonics. A foul against them as well. And seven points on margin to the Supersonics. And coming away is Gordy McLeod. Owen Wells. Way from the touch on a beautiful basket. That's the way the Sydney Supersonics fans like to see them from the big O. And that's the biggest margin for Sydney so far. Nine points, 50 to 41 the score, and Williams has the ball for them. Bringing it up will be McLeod. Sydney have certainly started this half with great determination, whilst West Adelaide uh, are just going through the motions. The opening of the first half was great, but they've just let it go at this stage, not putting any pressure at all whatsoever on the supersonic shooters. Loggins up there to get the defensive rebound, and away goes Wood. Bearcats must get back into the match now. Ally. He'll have a second one drawing in. Al Green, the hook over. 
And it's Ally finally with the basket. Good rebound from Peter Ally there. Four points to his credit now. He's in a good position after missing the earlier shot. Uh, West Adelaide's shooting certainly has dropped in the first half. They were shooting quite poorly compared to City as well. 39% throughout the first half, while Sydney shot 57%. Owen Wells has the range. Not quite. A holding foul on Ronnie Cavanaugh. So Cavanaugh now takes his third foul. Obviously facing, uh, finding the pace a little tough there too and uh, called to Wells then to take him out. Underneath flavour, uh, Williams, Williams makes the basket. Out to nine points margin for the Supersonics. Ally, Wood, Wood a long jump shot. Just finds the rim. There it is, Supersonics now. And this is the big difference in their second half. They're there for the rebound. Owen Wells underneath Flavin. The layup. And it's good. Draws the foul on big Andy Campbell. Having established their supremacy early in the second half, the Supersonics took control to win by 24 points, 97 to 73. Shooting percentages told the story of the match. Sydney making 66% from the field to Adelaide's lowly 36%. From the free throw line, Sydney made 15 of 22 attempts at 68%. The Bearcats made 15 of 21 at 71%. Owen Wells was adjudged as most valuable player of the match. The Sydney Guns shot 25 points for the match, 10 from 17 from the field at 59%, and from the charity stripe he made 5 of 9 at 56%. Wells thus maintains his lead in the league's MVP voting with 19 points from eight games. Al Green of West Adelaide is joined in second place by Canberra's Phil Smythe. James Crawford of Geelong and Mike Jones of Illawarra are jointly in fourth place, while Matt Waldron of Coburg is next. It was a high-scoring weekend for Adelaide's Dave Winslow, and he moves to the lead in the Hot Shot Award. In his nine games, he's averaged 26.7 per game, third in the league. Al Green of West Adelaide has nearly 29 per game in eight matches, but the only player over 30 points per match is Illawarra's Mike Jones, 216 points from seven games. Wayne McDaniel, also of Adelaide, Wayne Burden of Frankston, and Owen Wells, uh, next on the hot shot table. Well, West Adelaide hasn't started the 1983 season looking like the team which swept all before it in winning the championship last year. After this loss, Ron Davies asked a sartorial Bearcats coach, Ken Cole, what problems faced his team in this match? Well, we, we had m more trouble with the floor than we did with City Sydney. And, uh, you know, the floor was like an ice skating rink and, and an some of the players didn't feel in the first half that we should have been playing on it. Uh, unfortunately, both teams have to and uh, you tell the guys you just got to respond and they, they didn't and they didn't handle the floor at all well. We had people sliding all over the place from start to finish and uh, we've had nothing but problems with one of those referees and I, I thought they were both appalling but I thought one in particular is, you know, just shouldn't be refereeing in the NBL. Strong words from Ken Cole but you saw the shooting percentages earlier. The rebounding percentages are similar and perhaps there's a bit more to it than Ken's advice.